Shortly after midnight, surveillance footage at the Alternative Learning Building caught a teenager coming down one of the hallways. Police say they're trying to figure out how he got into the building, though investigators do have a theory. It appears that uh, one through this tree that's behind me um, shimmied up on the roof and gained access through the roof of the uh, building and then let his buddies in. Security cameras show the teenager letting in two other boys. Police say they went room to room and ransacked a couple of areas. What they took from one spot made police believe the boys went to school here. This is alternative learning school, so some of the kids have medication that's stored here. They knew where that was at. They stole some of the medication. The boys spent about an hour inside the school and mostly kept their faces covered, except for one moment. Not long after they left, Claremore firefighters put out a fire at a house across the street from the school. The fire marshal is now looking into it as arson. But we don't know what they used. We're still puzzled about that. But. The house belonged to Lori Hepler's mother, who died last year. She and her family are now trying to sell the house, but the fire caused significant damage. Do I think that they meant to burn or do this much damage? No, but it happened because of something they did. Police also believe the teens who broke into the school are to blame for the fire, too. Now Lori's depending on her nephew and a friend to help board up windows and secure the house.